WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. Yeah, Dow's up 12 at 28,134. Made an all time high today of 28,156. The SP at this particular moment is up. Uh, where did that go? The SP is up as well. It is up 8.75. And this is also at an all time high. The QQQ, the NDX 100, is up. Uh, a little bit more percentage-wise, it's up a dollar ten at two or five point seventy-two all-time high. The IWM, the Russell two thousand, a little doji candle, but it had a doji candle yesterday. It's up seventy-five cents at one sixty-two forty-five. Uh, the weekly chart is improving a lot. And so is the monthly chart, but it's not even close to the all-time 173.39 high, but it is actually showing some leadership here. And that's really important that the, in this rotational market, uh, suddenly the small caps have been favored over the last uh, four sessions. Um, that's going to be good. Does it last into December? We'll know certainly, because if it starts to trade in the 163.80 to 160. Uh, 420 area anytime next week in December, that's going to be a big breakout to the upside. So we've been watching that. Gold actually pulled back. Gold is down five and 14.62, and it's it's kind of struggling. But the dollar has acted very well. It is um, up. Uh, 16 at 98.39. It really needs to get to the 9870s. Now, just uh, really briefly, I forgot to mention in my show the Tiger Ignitions Hour that I will be the guest speaker for the Boston Investors Group Tuesday, December the 3rd. You can go to the, go to, uh, the um, go to the internet. It's at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Boston Investors Group guest speaker Basil Chapman, December the 3rd. Uh, It'll be at about seven o'clock, I believe. Just check it out on the front page of uh, of the. Uh, uh, well, if you go to the internet, you'll be able to do it. So, with that said, we're looking at bonds, the TLT uh, pulling back, but it's actually had a very good rally, which means that rates have actually pulled back some. They're in a range, and we're going to see if that range holds next week. What it does, if the, if the yields continue going up, what, how does it affect the home builders and the HGX? HGX.X uh, trading right now. I just want to see as we go out. HGX has had a very good rally. Does it last into next month? We'll see. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Stay tuned for Steve, Dave, and Tom. Have a great day.